by the Netherlands and 51-24 by Australia, which is the best comparison we can give. The loss by 27 points to Australia and the Brazilians lost by just two. And the starting lineups, Sant as we start with the tip off, Saskia Vardaheim of the Netherlands, Great Britain in possession now. Grady, Strange, Freeman, Williams and Turner are there. Uh, starting lineup, remember each team in basketball has five for those of you who did possession. And it's the Brazilians at the moment with Da Costa. That's excellent shooting. First score of the match from uh, Da Costa. There's a uh, woman down there, but uh, play at the moment is allowed to continue. Helen Freeman in possession for Great Britain. Spreads play uh, to Sarah Grady. And then the shot will come in from Helen Turner. But Great Britain haven't found their range with that one, and they are still trailing by two points to nil. Just under a minute gone. Lopez de Carvalho is the uh, uh, the player down. Well, that was the perfect shot, wasn't it, really, from Guimaraes da Costa. Restart from the host nation again. Freeman once again gives the ball to Turner. Again, that misses, but Freeman regains the ball for Great Britain. It's a violation that needed to get rid of the ball, so possession is Brazil's. Suarez Martins with the shot, which misses, but Brazil immediately get the ball back with Jamares. Da Costa. Again sets herself, but this time doesn't manage the basket. So Great Britain get us back underway. Field of play in wheelchair basketball, exactly the same as in its Olympic counterpart. Very, very close there from Helen Freeman. Just didn't want to drop. So still Brazil have this slender lead. The names, by the way, on the back of the Brazilian shirts are all nicknames. Then they have missed with an attempt from distance. And Grady with the restart for Great Britain. 2-0 they trail. Two and a bit minutes played in this opening quarter. Helen Freeman finds Turner, and this time she gets her range set. It's two apiece. And there's another competitor down. Just a, a clash of wheels. Two minutes and 35 seconds played. Short pass, the assist from Freeman, and then Helen Turner. 3.5 classification athlete. Great Britain with the uh, throw in from the side, and now Freeman again, and Great Britain take the lead. Brazil's number 10, Guimaraes da Costa. Timed out there from the shot, missed anyway, in fact, and it's Great Britain who advance 
over halfway. Laurie Williams gets the ball back to uh, Helen Freeman again. Freeman just trying to find the angle. Manages to get the ball to her captain, Claire Strange. And then a foul by one of the Brazilian players. And already Brazil have called a timeout. And their coach, Wilson Flavio da Silva Correa, was perhaps a little unhappy with their start. Certainly been sluggish by their standards. That's Gary Peel, the Great Britain coach. So after the timeout, we will restart with free throws for Great Britain and Helen Freeman. And GB with the slender advantage. That's the British captain, Claire Strange. Oh, and in fact, it will be Strange to take these free throws. crowd has steadily built up throughout the day. That was some way off from Claire Strange. As was that. So no success with the two free throws for Great Britain. So the restart from Brazil. Who trail by two. Kimarešta Costa getting the ball into Suarez Martins, who was fouled in the process of shooting. That's a fine basket, fine free throw. And the left hander can't repeat the medicine there. Britain still with a slender lead. And perhaps an opportunity here on the counter. A few seconds now to get in the shot. The Brazilian number 10, got Deborah on her back, Gimarez da Costa, to give her a full title. Took too long. 
and missed anyway. And now Great Britain come downfield with Helen Freeman. Freeman finds Helen Turner. And Turner wins the free throws, draws the foul. And finally, gets it right. So Great Britain re-establish a two-point advantage. Almost halfway through this first period. will have the opportunity there to draw level but Sarah Grady of Great Britain moves into the danger zone shooting opportunity there for Helen Freeman but uh, can't exploit it and now Gimaresh da Costa comes downfield held on too long we're going to bounce the ball or Get rid of it within uh, two uh, two motions of the wheel. So the restart that will come in from Freeman. And Great Britain already over the halfway line. Ball is turned back again to Freeman. Shooting opportunity that falls well, well short that from Amy Conroy. Is one of the reserves on up in the starting lineup. So Brazil will come again, and all their play centers through this woman, Guimarães at Da Costa, who's allowed to dribble up to the edge of the, uh, the three point line. And then the left hander, Suarez, can't make the basket. And once again, there's an opportunity for Great Britain on the break and they're breaking quickly this is Freeman Freeman inside of the basket frantic defense from the Brazilians did well there to hold her at bay and here again is the woman with Deborah on the back of her shirt that was a good effort that bounced around the rim in the end, it's come straight back out, and once again, it's Great Britain with their captain Strange. And then just passes it to her left, and the second bite of the cherry there for Amy Conroy, and makes it count, and Great Britain extend their lead from 5-3 to 7-3. So this is a bright start from the host nation, who, remember, were absolutely put to the sword in their first two games by the Netherlands and by Australia. Da Costa gets the ball back there to Suarez Martins. Almost timed out again. They're certainly taking their time, Brazil, getting their shots in. A restart that will be Great Britain's. Leda Brito de Almeida Coming on for at Brazil. Just waiting while that change is made. So clock restarts under three minutes to go. Great Britain again inside that uh, two point shooting zone at Conroy. And Conroy just falls a little short. So the Brazilians over halfway again. With Lopez da Costa. It's a 
Again, the referee uh, has seen something there. There's a, a clash of wheels and no more. Yes, it will be Brazil to restart. A trail here by four. Gilares da Costa manages to uh, find the substitute, Rito de Almeida. That won't count. The freeze whistle had already gone. Gary Peel will certainly be pleased with the start that his side have made after two heavy defeats. The restart will be Brazilian, though. This is, again, the number 10, Gimarej Da Costa. A bit confusing. We've got more than one Da Costa on the court at the moment. That's a super basket, though, from the Brazilian number 10. Carries them back to within two points of Great Britain. And we're inside the final two minutes of the uh, opening quarter. There were two British women got in each other's way there. But Great Britain do have the ball back. It's with uh, Amy Conroy. Conroy uh, turns it back to Louise Sugden. And the shot comes in from Laurie Williams. 87 seconds to go in this first quarter. Great Britain with this slender advantage. And both these teams absolutely desperate for the victory. Again, got to get in the shot. We took a little bit too long, shot from distance from the three-point range. But off target, and we're into the final minute of this opening quarter. Freeman has it. Freeman looks out to the far side and sees uh, Amy Conroy. And Conroy makes it. Terrific shot from Amy Conroy. A 4.0 uh, category athlete. Brazil look to respond immediately, they haven't, and Conroy has picked up the loose ball, and now an opportunity with 20 seconds left on the clock. Chance again for the Great Britain number 10. Bounces back off the wall. A Great Britain ball from the restart. Williams throws it back to Freeman. I'll just try to get in a shot before the clock counts down. Well, it wasn't very far away, but that is the end of the opening quarter. And it's been a good opening 10 minutes for Great Britain. It's not a big lead, but given what has happened in their opening two encounters, 9-5 represents uh, something of a triumph for the Great Britain's women's team. 9-5 then at the end of the first quarter. Crowd certainly enjoying the spectacle. It really has built up into 
a fine crowd again. All the tickets sold once again inside the basketball arena in what is the most successful Paralympics ever. That's the linchpin of the Brazilian attack. Demarés da Costa. Before that, you saw Amy Conroy, just 19 years old. And a lot resting on her shoulders as we are about to start the second quarter of this women's Group A match. There is Conroy. British defence has been largely very good indeed. They've really made the Brazilians work very hard to try to find a way through and again they deny them a shooting opportunity there. And this could allow them to, well, I was going to say extend their lead but that was real miscommunication between uh, Strange, 1.5% classification athlete. If you're unsure, by the way, about the classifications, all the players, men's and women's, assigned a, a point value based on their functional ability. 1.0, the player with the least physical function. Oh, that's a super basket. Really sharp shooting there from Guimaraes da Costa just inside the three-point line, so it's only a two-pointer, but still a very fine shot. Great Britain's lead cut then to two. Brazil have the ball back beyond the minute mark now in this second quarter. I'll go back to the classifications in just a moment. Got an opportunity here on their visit to the side of the court to tie it up at nine apiece. This time, De Costa misses. Yes, the key thing with the classifications is that any time during play, five women on the court, but their court value, their points value, can't be more than 14. There's Amy Conroy. Has Great Britain back into uh, a four point lead again. Really held a nerve well. And what's more, what's more, she was fouled in the process, so she'll also get one free throw. Uh, which she's missed, which almost put her head in her hands there, perhaps forgetting that it was play on after that. And here is De Costa. That's a great shot. Great shot from De Costa. She is a 4.0 classification player. Just look at the perfect flight and barely touch the rim. We have another timeout. Great Britain are leading by two. So Great Britain restart, narrow advantage of just two points, 
eight minutes to go in this second period. Freeman there hitting the deck, so we'll just get the restart. It wasn't a foul that. Uh, Williams finds Freeman again. And Conroy extends the advantage again to four points. Well, she looks to have really got her eye in. Amy Conroy. Lots of copybook a little bit there with that foul. And the restart from De Costa, and there's plenty of space. And absolutely no problem there for the number 15, Brito de Almeida, to cut the deficit back to two. Nice tight game this. Great Britain just. They can't rid Brazil from their coattails, really. They had the lead for a while, fluctuated between two and four with a Brazilian player down, and then there's a shot from outside the three-point line. And Brazil come immediately downfield and tie the scores at 13 apiece. So Great Britain led 9-5 after the first quarter, but now it's 13 apiece. A bit of work here for at the home side to do. Ball there, uh, knocked out of Conroy's hands. The last touch of the Brazilian restart is from Great Britain. This is Freeman. Great Britain timed out on the shot. We've got two. Yeah. If the ball doesn't touch the rim, we'll pass through the net within 24 seconds. The possession goes to the opponents. And now there's an opportunity for Brazil to take the lead. Da Costa. Okay, fair way out. Freeman just charges towards the basket but misses with the shot and now it's Brazil uh, who come forward there's Da Costa and then uh, Tabrito de Almeida Could Britain survive Freeman has Williams close, but he elects to shoot. Unsuccessful. Brito de Almeida to give Brazil the lead. 15 points to 13. The second quarter shaping up very much to be Brazil's beyond the halfway mark in this second quarter that's strange it's a good long pass out to Freeman Freeman tries to find a way through finds Strange who ties it up at 15 apiece
Judith Hamer, 21 year old, comes on for Great Britain. It's Brazil though with the shooting chance which is missed by Dos Santos Asuncio. And the restart will be Great Britain's with four minutes to go in this second period. said that was allowed to go a long way there before shooting and missing they might have another chance and they do with Amy Conroy that's another two points Got somebody is an Amy fan there team Amy that team shirt said I don't know whether you uh, just managed to catch a glimpse of that on your screen my monitor certainly showing it I wonder if that's Amy Conroy's mum or her auntie or somebody Oh, that's a great shot from De Costa. 17 apiece. It goes so far as to say that they're a one-woman team, but you do wonder where they would be without De Costa's sharp shooting in this game. And Great Britain lose possession there. That was a little sloppy by Louise Sugden, one of the co-captains of Great Britain. That was equally sloppy, but a miscommunication in the centre of the court. Well, that was perfect shooting, wasn't it? But Great Britain back on the attack at 17 apiece. 2.40 to go in this second quarter. That was Hamer. Finding Conroy, who can't make it this time. Ball hits the deck, but Brazil have regathered through the, Naz the Nazare Santos. Brito de Almeida shoots left handed. Conroy doing fine work there defensively finds Williams and Williams to Hamer just bounces away into the final two minutes of this second quarter opportunity for Brazil to retake the lead and it's an opportunity they don't pass up Brito to Almeida GB led by four after the first quarter. They trail by two with 90 seconds to go in this second period. Excellent shooting from Louise Sugden. Squares it all up at 19 apiece. Well, this is better from Great Britain. There were some harsh words from coach Gary Peel about their showing in those first two matches against the Netherlands and Australia. And Brazil, I think it will turn out will not be quite as strong as those countries, but even so, they seem to have got their chins up today to the uh, British women. Change about to be made with 67 seconds remaining. It's Helen Freeman who rejoins the fray. Louise Sugden with the restart. That finds Strange. making the mistake there. Sixty seconds remain in this second quarter. Very, very evenly poised. Nineteen apiece. Here's the Costa. Here's an opportunity for Brazil. They haven't taken it and they haven't regathered either. Great Britain have it. Opportunity to cross halfway. And move to within shooting distance. This is Freeman. Finds Strange. Freeman again. I'm sure they'll be trying to free Conroy if they can. She can't quite gather that ball in. Clock stops on 27.4 seconds. 
audacious pass by Freeman. Desperate scramble there from the British woman, Amy Conroy. Well, Costa went a long way. And Brazil are going to have the lead at the end of the second quarter. They've turned it around. Unless Great Britain can do something. Well, they haven't because time has beaten them. So 9-5. Great Britain led at the end of the first quarter. So a four-point lead. But now they trail by two. Brazil have turned it around. They've won that second quarter by 16 points to 10. And overall, their lead is for Brazil 21, Great Britain 19. It's the halfway point. Rejoin us at the start of the third quarter in 10 minutes or so time. <laughs> 